Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right today I'm going to show you the work that I've done on these uh, Dark Elder Warriors. I have to say I'm really happy with them. I think they look awesome. Um, so I'm going to zoom in in a second and uh, show you uh, them a bit closer. But first of all, um, yeah I got these models from War Games. Uh, very very kindly donated to me by Martin, a good friend of mine who um, not only has his own YouTube channel but he also has his own uh, store, gaming store. So I'll put a link to uh, the gaming store's uh, Facebook page for you to go and check out. I'll also put a link to his uh, YouTube channel for you to go and have a look at. Uh, so yeah, this is part of my £25 army challenge uh, which is being run by uh, Tabletop Banter. Once again, I'll put a link to uh, Tabletop Banter's channel in the description for you to go and check out. Um, once again, it's, it's not too late to enter this challenge. If you want to get involved, then please do so. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in now and uh, give you a closer look at the work that I've done. Right, so first of all, massive uh, thank you to Darby Conway. Um, again, more links, but there's going to be a link in the description to Darby's uh, YouTube channel. Go and check him out, please. He's a huge, huge Eldar, Dark Eldar and Harlequin uh, player. Um, and he's helped me <laughs> identifying all the bits from these sprues. Um, because I had no instructions, they were all on their sprues already. Um, and I'm very, very naive with Dark Eldar stuff. So thank you, Darby, for all the um, information. That was really, really useful. Um, and like I said, I didn't have the, the instructions for these. Um, not too much of a problem. You know, I'm, I'm obviously very experienced at, at model making. Um, but one thing I noticed was uh, matching the arms up with the guns quite challenging to get the actual correct arms to match with the correct guns because I just had no instructions on which ones go with which. Uh, so what I did, I used that to my advantage and rather than actually trying to get the arms to match up um, I decided to um, give myself the freedom to try and make these guys have some really cool poses. Um, so yeah, let's have a closer look at those. Right, we start off with this guy. Let me just get the focusing area in the right place. Zoom in a bit more. Okay, so this guy here, um, yeah, I've got one hand going right the way down there, and I put this thing in in the front. Now, I believe this is the front of some sort of weapon, like it goes on the front here, but I thought it looked really cool as some sort of uh, close combat blade thing. So I've got him uh, holding that, saying, yeah, come on then. You know, if I don't kill you with my gun, I'm going to knife you. <laughs> I always uh, like tried a little, a little, I try to put a little story to my pose as well. So I'd imagine him in battle in that particular pose and what he might be thinking or saying or, you know, doing, etc. So that's the first guy. I just put them over the side so I don't uh, duplicate showing you. Next guy, traditional pointing man. There was a pointing arm in there, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to use that. Um, got him looking obviously directly down the point and the gun so he's saying there I'm gonna kill you <laughs> well maybe not but he's pointing um, he has obviously that grenade thing on his backpack um, I know it's not that great in game um, but it looks cool so I'm not gonna take it as an upgrade but I just thought get it to focus yeah I just thought it looked really cool so that's that guy Obviously I tried to make sure that the um, heads matched up to the bodies because some of the, the heads are female and obviously some of the bodies are as well. So I had to make sure I did that right. But this guy, I just got him sort of in motion. So his hand there, just about, about to go up to the gun. And that's why I put him sort of looking over this way. So I could imagine like just spotting something and he's just raising his hand up ready to turn around and shoot. So that is that one. Got this guy here. Pretty, uh, pretty cool pose, I think, this guy. So he's holding one of the um, grenades, and I've got him sort of, t again, turning round, just looking there, so it looks like he's just about to sling that grenade at someone. Really like this guy, I think it looks cool. Um, the detail on these is absolutely amazing, I have to say. It's, it's amazing how much detail. And I thought they were gonna be pretty basic, maybe like um, uh, Eldar Guardians, you know, because they're, they're pretty, Pretty bland, let's say, um, but these, the, the detail is astonishing on these guys. Okay, so I've got this one here. Now this one here, his arm just happened to match up um, with the gun. So I thought, well, it'd be okay to have like maybe one or two actually holding the gun. So that was just literally luck or coincidence, but um, it worked. So I ran with that one for, for that guy. So that's him. 
and then we've got this one here and again he's got a hand sort of in motion just so, as if he's just uh, shot um, or he's just about to grab the gun and I've got the gun obviously pointing quite up in the air on that one so he's uh, in motion so that's that one and we have the splinter cannon guy looks pretty cool and um, I almost managed to make his uh, hand sort of match up but it looks it looks pretty cool because he's uh, obviously holding a much bigger gun so he's, he's got to have his hand sort of quite near or say he is actually a she <laughs> this uh, actually yeah that reminds me this this uh, head just reminds me of Rihanna that's why I put the head on this one because I thought yeah Rihanna she's she's hard cool you know she would have the big heavy gun <laughs> So it's that one, and then we have this one. This guy's sort of leaning forward more, um, and I did manage to get his hand just to match up with the gun there. So it's that one, and we have this one. This is pretty cool, actually. I like this one. So she, yeah, it's a she, is looking down the gun barrel, one-handed, pretty mean, and then. Just got that like blade, the knife there, just like holding it back. Nice relaxed pose, but she's gonna kill you. I'm gonna stand here, be relaxed, and just shoot you. I like that one a lot, actually. That's one of my favourites. And then lastly, we have this one, which I used one of the actual arms with the knife on, uh, which I assume is supposed to be for the sergeant, but it just looks pretty cool. Um, there is another hand with a bigger knife but I use a small one because I think it sort of matches and I won't necessarily be taking a sergeant but if I did this would be the sergeant. I say sergeant, it's not called a sergeant, you know what I mean. The, the um, pack leader, well, what's it called? I, I can't remember the name. But anyway, uh, so I gave a, a, that sort of bigger backpack to it just to distinguish that it would be the sergeant and I've, I gave that obviously close combat weapon just in case I do happen to take a sergeant and that's the model would stand in as, as one. And that is it. So I'm really, really happy with them. I think they look pretty cool. Um, I hope you like them too. Um, next up, I have 20 witches to build. Uh, which is going to be a lot of fun as well. I'm sure they're going to be just as detailed as these guys. Okay, so that's it from me. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>